Halo sobat berkawan, uh, kembali lagi bersama kita di Tech Talk Berka Podcast bersama saya Denny dari PT Berka Harni Perkasa. Podcast kali ini kita ditemenin oleh narasumber yang spesial dari Denodo ada uh, Mr. Alex Hoyle uh, selaku uh, VP Business Development Efek Region di Denodo. Ada juga uh, narasumber kita yang spesial satu lagi ada Mas Ageng Hidayat selaku senior data consultant kita. Halo. Oke, okay, uh, kita akan membahas topik bersama narasumber kita yang spesial ini uh, dengan data visualisasi di Nodo. Uh, Oke, okay. Hi Alex, Ageng, how are you? Selamat pagi, Hi Denny, how are you? It's great to be here today with with Berka and join you in this podcast. Thank you, Agung. Apa uh, kabarnya nih? Hai, <laughs> hai uh, Denny. Uh, uh, thank, uh, terima kasih sudah mengundang saya di podcast hari ini. Mungkin, uh, oke. Okay. Uh, thank you uh, atas invitationnya, uh, Alex dan uh, Agung. Kita akan coba ngebahas uh, apa sih data virtualization di Nodo itu. Nah, uh, mungkin beberapa teman-teman berkawan Enggak pada aware nih apa sih data virtualization itu dan mengapa uh, it is important to implement uh, data virtualization solution in uh, company-company yang ada di uh, perusahaan Bapak Ibu. Jadi uh, maybe I will ask in English to Alex first. Uh, ya yeah, Alex, can you explain to us what is the Nodo? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Danny, that's a that's a that's a very valid question. So Denodo is actually a specialist in data integration and data management. Uh, the company has been around for over 23 years now. We are a global software company um, and we're helping basically large companies all across the globe to solve their data integration, data management and data delivery issues. Okay, so uh, data virtualization is uh, the another step that uh, other uh, company have implement uh, maybe data warehouse, uh, ETL process in the company, and then for the company to have the enhanced uh, view of the data, uh, they will need to implement data virtualization, right? Yeah, so um, data virtualization is probably the most modern form of technology for data integration and data management. If you're looking at the traditional way of integrating data, we have been using ETL, Extract, Transform, Load, uh, as a technology for the last 30, 40, maybe even 50 years. Um, the approach is basically to make copies and copies and more copies of data until we get a single source of truth. In a world where we produce data faster than we can make copies, this approach is not cutting it anymore. Not saying ETL is obsolete, but if you want to have a more modern, more agile approach to data integration and data management, you want to look at the logical way to integrate data, at data virtualization. So that's why we are still using data virtualization as the core engine for Denodo, but we are covering the aspects of data integration, data management and data delivery. Uh, okay, Alex, thank you for your uh, explanation. Uh, let me uh, translate it into bahasa for uh, our audience here. Okay, sobat berkawan, jadi tadi Alex uh, udah sebutin bahwa data virtualization itu is uh, another step, uh, tahap sel- tahapan selanjutnya setelah uh, integrasi data dan uh, data management challenge. Nah, uh, memang itu uh, penting untuk dilakukan untuk uh, perusahaan Bapak Ibu supaya bisa meng-enhance uh, uh, datanya itu sebenarnya dipakai untuk divirtualisasi ke dalam bentuk yang memang uh, bisa dilihat gitu. Hmm, Oke, okay. uh, dalam kesempatan ini saya mau nanya ke Mas Ageng nih di sini. Uh, tadi kan Alex sempat sebutin soal data management. Iya. Yeah. Nah, data management challenge uh, tantangan ada yang di data management di nonton seperti apa sih? Oke, okay. uh, terima kasih Mas Denny ya. Yeah. Untuk uh, tantangan dari data manajemen ini sendiri adalah uh, semakin banyaknya data yang kita simpan tentu uh, mungkin semakin kompleks data yang perlu kita simpan juga. Dan otomatis juga user yang menggunakannya semakin banyak. Di situ tantangannya adalah bagaimana data data itu bisa sampai ke user dengan 
maksudnya dengan mudah digunakan gitu ya. User bisa lebih mudah melihat data itu sendiri, dia bisa memproses data dan mengolah data. Nah, tantangan selanjutnya adalah terkait security. E, di era sekarang kita sangat ini ya mungkin concern terkait security. Nah, security ini kita di Denodo kita bisa mengapply security untuk data tersebut seperti kita memasking data, mungkin datanya kita kita masking untuk user atau role tertentu e, dan tentunya kita juga perlu e, tantangan selanjutnya adalah kita mengaudit data kita. Jadi e, setiap user yang mengakses ke Denodo sebagai e, data virtualisasi yang sebut kita ya middleware layer gitu, layer di atas di atas dari user-user Nah, user-user ini nanti kita bisa tercatat user ini di diakses oleh data itu diakses user ini akses ke mana datanya apa dan mungkin dari IP dan lain-lain gitu ya. Nah, seperti itu mungkin tantangan dari sisi data management. Hmm, oke, okay. berarti uh, data management itu lebih kayak kita gimana memanage data untuk uh, security data itu untuk maskingnya, untuk Uh, audit untuk audit ya yeah. untuk audit datanya juga audit transkripsinya juga gitu ya iya yeah, betul oke okay. cukup menarik ya tempat berkawan jadi uh, data visualization ini uh, penting untuk dikembangkan juga diimplementasi jadi uh, tentunya setelah datanya semua rapi uh, uh, data warehouse sudah ada dan proses di belak- di balik belakang layar itu sudah ada dibuatkan gitu. Hmm, oke. Okay. Ada ada yang saya pengen tahu lagi nih soal Denodo itu mungkin uh, ya Alex uh, <laughs> uh, Denodo is a data visualization tools we uh, I believe the audience are uh, kind of aware of it uh, based on our explanation Denodo is a data visualization tools Uh, can you explain to us uh, what is uh, what are the Denodo feature and uh, uh, the feature and capability for us to help the data driven customer to to help them? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I mean, as I said earlier, uh, first of all, Denodo is a data integration, data management, and data delivery platform. So when we talk about data integration, we first of all talk about the capability to connect to basically any kind of a data source that is out there. So this can be structured, semi-structured data, this can be streaming data, um, this can be data on-prem, this can be data in the cloud, um, this can be data with third parties. So Denodo provides um, a huge set of predefined connectors to connect to all these different data sources. Um, as I said earlier, one of the big differences between the classic ETL approach to integrate data and the logical approach is that we don't have to make copies of the data. We actually deliver data on the fly with our platform. So that means these connectors are able to connect to the data sources, optimize the data access and deliver data in an optimized way back to the Denodo platform and to the consumer. So this is all what the data integration or the connectors Uh, are doing. Then we have the ability for data management. So the Denodo platform basically provides the ability to integrate now the data from those different um, data sources to new insights. So you can connect different tables, for example, through keys, primary keys. We can do data masking, for example. We can do data transformation. Um, and this can be multi-level complex transformations either through a graphical user interface or also for example through java or sql code so we offer here basically a low code no code platform which makes it also easy for people to use different forms of technology if you're looking at the traditional way if i have for example a data scientist they will access usually five or six different tools to prepare the data. So they need to know six different languages, six different tools. With Denodo, this can be significantly simplified, meaning people don't have to spend so much time on data preparation, but they can actually focus on their key activities, which is actually training their models, understanding the data, and then um, optimizing the models for the end users. 
Then last but not least, we have also the data delivery layer. So here we can provide data in multiple ways. Uh, the classical way is to provide data through an SQL interface. Um, so which means at the end of the day for end consumers, for end using applications, they don't even know anymore that the data is maybe in five or six different data tables in five or six different formats. They will just access, well, a Denodo database makes it very easy to um, access this information and then provide it, for example, to data uh, visualization tools like Click, uh, Power BI, or Tableau. Um, <clears throat> the same information can also be provided through APIs. So we can generate these APIs, these data APIs, very easily um, out of Denodo, basically with a click of a mouse button. Um, and then we have also a data catalog. So this data catalog is actually the ability to provide insights into the metadata um, of the different data sources that are available. This means we are enabling here self-service capabilities for the end users, So, which means they don't have to go back to the IT department and request, for example, information about what is this data. Or I've got here a table or a field that is called revenue one. What does revenue one actually mean? The data catalog can provide uh, first of all, access to the right information for each user, for each user group, but it also has a business semantic capabilities explaining, for example, what does these fields actually mean? What is the technology behind it? Same, we can provide data lineage information in the data catalog itself, meaning for end users, it's very easy to understand where does this data come from? How has it been transformed? So the data becomes trusted. And that's very important when you're talking about becoming a data-driven organization. You want to make sure that on one side, your end consumers get the data that they require to perform their job, but at the same time, they also need to trust the data. They need to know that this data is the right data they can use for their job. So these are probably some of the high-level features that Denodo can provide. Tadi Alex sudah sebutin bahwa fitur-fitur Denodo dengan capability-nya itu sangat banyak dan bisa bergantung dari kebutuhan dari customer apa aja. Tadi sempat di mention ada data governance, uh, data katalog yang memang uh, data katalog ini yang memang lebih uh, use case-nya lebih masuk di kita ya untuk di customer yang ada di Indonesia di mana uh, kita jadinya nggak usah minta lagi ke departemen IT untuk uh, misalkan uh, ada permintaan data yang memang uh, butuh dari IT kita tinggal langsung uh, dari uh, UI nya aja kita bisa lihat uh, kita bisa tarik lah dari situ ya kita. Uh, what is the best suited uh, company that need to uh, implement Denodo and why uh, why uh, they need to uh, implement it uh, why they need to implement it first kita. Okay. Okay. So um, Denodo is an enterprise tool. So our customers are actually in the enterprise space. Um, and I mean, these are customers from all across the globe. So we are uh, a global company with uh, with thousand plus customers worldwide, actually. Um, and the companies we talk to usually have a certain level of complexity, which which go of of data complexity, which basically goes together with the size. Uh, they often have also, I would say, a grown data architecture, meaning data is distributed. It's in different formats in different locations. Um, it's owned by a bunch of, of different people. Um, usually, you have some form of data silos um, that customers would like to address, to break down. Um, in these days, we're talking a lot about a data fabric, a data mesh um, approach. So basically, for every customer who wants to have this single view of data, easy access to the data, but also fast delivery of data, um, Denodo adds a lot of value to them. Um, I want to elaborate a little bit on the access or, or fast time to data. Um, again, if I'm looking at the old classic ETL approach, I have to make copies, copies, and copies of data. So if I do this in a classic data warehouse, it takes time. I mean, by definition, it takes time to do those transformation steps. Um, if I add a new data source to a data warehouse, that can easily take six weeks. Um, in today's, you know, fast economy, um, the business is often not willing to wait that long to, to get new data, new insights. So by the time 
they receive the data, they might already have moved on. They have already taken decision and not even based on data, but based on experience, based on gut feel. So that's not what we want to achieve when we're talking about a data-driven company. We want them to take this decision based on facts. And this is one of the key benefits that Denodo can provide. So we're talking about 80, 90% time saving of time to data compared to a traditional approach. And that really helps our customers then to get yeah, this data-driven, data-based company for better decision-taking, faster decision-taking, and obviously more business success. Can you explain it with the use case that uh, maybe in some of your uh, project reference that they don't have implement, like in telco, banking, and somewhere? 